Introduction The Battle of Legnitsa, also known as the Battle of Lignitz or Battle of Wallstadt, was a clash between the Mongol Empire and European forces. It occurred on April 9, 1241, near the village of Legniki Pol, Wallstadt, close to Legnitsa in Silesia. Duke Henry II, the Pius of Silesia, led a combined Polish and Moravian force, supported by knights from military orders sent by Pope Gregory IX, in an attempt to stop the Mongol invasion of Poland. The battle preceded the Mongols' victory over the Hungarians at the larger Battle of Mohi by two days. Background The Mongols wanted the Cumans to submit to their authority, but the Cumans sought refuge in Hungary instead. When Hungary refused to surrender the Cumans, Subutai, a Mongol general, planned the invasion of Europe. While Batu and Subutai attacked Hungary, Baidar, Orda Khan, and Kaden raided Poland to divert attention from Hungary. They devastated northern Poland, attacked cities like Sandomierz and Krakow, and attempted to capture Wrocław. However, they received news of a large Bohemian army approaching, prompting them to intercept Duke Henry's forces near Legnica. The Mongols used their superior tactics and communication to their advantage, while the European armies lacked coordination. Estimates suggest the Mongol force numbered around 25,000 cavalry, while Duke Henry's force consisted of poorly equipped troops, mercenaries, and a small contingent of foreign volunteers, totaling around 25,000. Some sources mention the presence of Teutonic Knights, but their participation is debated. The Templars had a small presence with around 68 to 88 soldiers. Battle Henry strategically divided his forces into four groups, Bavarian miners, conscripts from Greater Poland, Opol's army, and Silesians, Moravians, and Templars. The Silesian cavalry attacked the Mongol vanguard but was repelled. The cavalry from Greater Poland and Opol engaged the Mongols, who retreated and drew the Allied cavalry away from the Polish infantry. Mongol light cavalry flanked the Polish forces while archers rained arrows upon them, using a smokescreen for confusion. The attack was initiated either by Bolslav or the Silesians. Confusion among the Polish forces led to a retreat ordered by Mieszko. Henry deployed reserves and cavalry, but the Mongols successfully used their feigned retreat tactics to separate and defeat the knights. Henry and Bolslav were killed, and casualties numbered between 2,000 and 40,000. The Templars reported a loss of 500. Mongol casualties are unknown, but they suffered enough to discourage an attack on the Bohemian army. The Mongols collected right ears as a count of the dead and displayed Henry's head on a spear before Legnica. Aftermath After the Battle of Legnica, Wenceslaus I of Bohemia gathered reinforcements and confronted the Mongol vanguard at Klajko, defeating them with his larger and more powerful force. The Mongols, led by Baidar and Kaden, avoided direct confrontation and instead raided minor towns and villages as a diversion. They eventually joined forces with Batu and Subutai, who had already defeated the Hungarians at the Battle of Mohi. Later invasions of Poland for looting purposes occurred, led by Mongol commanders such as Burundi, Tulabuga, and Nogai Khan. However, Poland and Hungary remained outside the sphere of influence of the Golden Horde. The Battle of Legnica is commemorated on the tomb of the unknown soldier in Warsaw, 